our ears thirst for melody, our hearts sway in the tempest. Anoint the mighty, anoint the meek, anoint all us rest. Pour life unto us and let us all be blessed. So, uh, so we have Ananya next to us. And Ananya is now in grade 12. When she wrote this, when she started writing the story, she was in grade 11. And she was choosing her stream. So this story was born out of Ananya's, uh, you know, dilemma on what to choose. This story is uh, generally about uh, how we should not ever give up our hopes and dreams, however unrealistic they may seem at the moment, because uh, if we just keep persisting with them, sticking with them and persevering, we are ultimately going to get there. And so we don't have to always worry about how we're going to get there. Getting to publish this book, have my story in it, I think that is actually a dream come true in itself. Thank you. And Ananya is also pursuing another course uh, by the United Nations now. So Ananya, how's that going for you? Um, it's going very well. It's going very well. Uh, and I think it's a great opportunity personally because uh, it gives you a very uh, like a very good kind of exposure because you get to meet people from all over the world. So there's a lot of richness in perspective and ideas that you can absorb from them. And of course, from all the UN experts who are there to uh, impart like a lot of variety of skills to you from everything, wow. like from human rights to communication, negotiation. So yes. Wow. So Ananya is at that stage, it seems, where she's sort of taking those really, really strong uh, decisions and learnings in life. Uh, so Ananya, why don't you go ahead and read an excerpt from your story? Slowly, softly, Tonera started to sing. Her eyes closed, words pouring out of her throat like honey, her voice playing an invisible harp on the wind. Let the grass be green anew, flowers spring from dry wells. Let by your grace the sea swell and dance on leaves the dew. Let the parched tongue in earth be laid in your beauty's arrest. From your magnanimous breast, pour life unto us and let us be blessed. In majesty you have gathered on the firmament. O be divine, we implore you now relent. Let man and beast be reborn in this wondrous fest. Our ears thirst for melody, our hearts sway in the tempest. Anoint the mighty, anoint the meek, anoint all us rest. Pour life unto us and let us all be blessed. Almost like a child is appeased by a lullaby or God's pleased by a prayer, the bitter patter of raindrops falling from the clouds could be heard. All creatures that had assembled, drawn by Tonera's song, now began to scurry off into their bills and bundles. Among this joyous wither, only Winnie sat whispering wistfully, raindrops sticking through the ends of her stray hair like beads. Lovely. Lovely, Anna. Ananya, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. So this is not, uh, this, uh, this uh, excerpt that she's read out doesn't reveal what her story is about and the entire, uh, you know, the dilemma, the societal pressure that the child is in through the story. But uh, it does reflect uh, upon the way she's gone about writing the story. 